Hello beauties and welcome to Jessing Things Up with Jessica Yick. We are here today with a skincare review. So this is the Face Shop Rice Ceramide Moisturizing Collection. We just got these, uh, I think about like maybe six weeks or so ago at Avon Canada and I've been wanting something to kind of help hold in the moisture in my skin because of the cold winter months, the cold winter weather, so I figured that this is perfect time to try this out. Maybe it wasn't six weeks, but anyways, we got this a little while ago. There are a total of three pieces in this collection, which includes a toner, a emulsion, and a uh, moisturizing cream. So I've never used an emulsion, so that's definitely something that's going to be very interesting. And so we're going to try that out. And usually I believe what we do is after you wash your face, you use your toner, you use your ampule, emulsion, serum, and then your cream. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use my ampule, which is the Dr. Balmer Sitka ampule, because that is what I normally always use anyways. Um, and then of course, I'm also going to add in the addition of eye cream. So First off, let's learn a little bit about this product line. So for all three of these, it looks like that it is made with the same four key ingredients, which is, includes the nanoceramide water, which helps to prevent moisture loss, uh, rice extracts to help improve your skin's elasticity, rice bread oil to help brighten your skin, as well as vegetable rice ceramide to help build a protective barrier. So even if you put in a lot of hydration on your face, so you, your face is nice and plump, if you don't have something to help hold it in, your skin's not going to um, be as healthy and happy as you want to be. So even if you're using something that has hyaluronic acid in it to help with hydrating your skin, you're going to want to use a moisturizer as well to help keep it in your skin, which is the purpose of this particular product. According to the Avon website, it is a moisturizing care line that is eco-friendly, mineral enriched, and it also gently exfoliates with rice extract and rice bran. It is from Yaozu? Yaozu in South Korea, I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, and the ceramides of course help to retain the skin moisture, which is what we talked about earlier. All three products are free from four potentially harmful additives, which includes the parabens, tar, mineral oil, and talc. With that said, let's quickly get into actual trying out the product. So I've already washed my face with the rice water brand, micellar water or micellar water. This, I did a review on this not so long ago, so to check that one out, make sure you click on the link above after the completion of this video. And now let's try out the toner, the emulsion, and the cream. So with the toner, it was interesting to read on the Avon website that you kind of use it differently morning and night. So in the morning, you up after cleansing you apply a little bit on your fingertips and you pop it onto your face and your decolletage area and then in the evening you use like either a cotton pad or you can use one of your reusable pads like so and uh, apply it to remove any other traces of impurities makeup etc also honestly sometimes I like using the pads too because it adds that extra little bit of exfoliation into my skincare routine so here is the toner and so all of these products are made in Korea. The price point of these are amazing, to be honest with you. If you've watched my last video, you've ever heard me say that everything in the rice water bright line is huge. No, this is actually, it's a good size. It's uh, 150 ml, so it's a little bit tinier, but it's a good size. But like the price point, guys, is really incredible. So regular price for the toner itself is $12. Same with the emulsion. And then the cream regular price is $13. So it's at a very, very, very budget-friendly price point, which is always exciting and good, making it very accessible to get great quality skincare products. So the first off, let's try out this toner. The screw cap. Oh, it is sealed. Oh. Coming out for a toner, it felt a little bit thicker. Okay, okay. It's still nice and light for sure. There's a little bit of fragrance to it. It's almost like a bright floral. Yeah. Whereas the rice water bright, the micellar water has no, I believe has no added fragrance to it. This one, it does smell like it has some fragrance to it. It's quite light from what I could tell. So I don't think I'm going to have a, a reaction to it, which is nice. But first off, now let's try it on my face. So here's my skin before. Completely clean face. I only just washed my face. I don't have any toner, eye cream, lip balm. I don't have lip balm on right now, which is very weird for me. But here it is. Let's try this. 
I can't squeeze the bottle so I can't make it go any faster. It's good because then I have control over it, but if I'm in a rush, I'm gonna be like, Arr! all right, and then I'm supposed to just tap it on my face, okay. Yeah, feels good on, it absorbed really quickly, which is always nice. I do try to wait a little bit in between when I put on my, my pro in between my products to let it really absorb to my skin, but it feels like it already absorbed in super fast. So all three products is, it has a shelf life of 12 months after you open it. So if you put it, if you have, if you leave it unopened, usually there's like a two to three sh year shelf life. And I think, yep, all of these have an expiration date on it. I have until 2025 if left unopened. So now I have another year. Well, well now I have a total of a year. So it's, you know, March-ish of 2024. It'll definitely be done by then, by then, as long as I don't have a reaction, I love the product. All right, so that's that. Next off is, you. oh yeah, by the way, so you can see on my hands here, this side has the toner and then this side does it. It feels a little bit more moisturized on my left hand where I had already applied the toner than on my right hand. Even my hands, I don't have any skin cream on right now. It almost has like a little bit of a, not a shimmer, but a little bit more shininess to it. So far, so good. I didn't feel any stinging, which is nice. And so now let's move on to the emulsion. So what an emulsion is, an emulsion is kind of like a, it's almost like a lighter version of your moisturizer. So according to the website, this is supposed to replenish your moisture instantly and it's supposed to last for hours. It is supposed to be a milky, non-sticky texture with a semi-liquid consistency. It's also water-based. You use this both day and night. And the way you apply it is you, after you put it onto your hands, you just pat it onto your face. I am going to try to do this as a two week update later on, but for now, I'm going to skip the ampule today just so I can feel how this feels on my face on its own. But during the two weeks, I will be applying my ampule as per normal. On. How's this supposed to come out? Okay, I understand what they're saying by semi liquid state. It's very almost lotion-y feeling, like a thinner lotion. The texture, oh, it doesn't feel sticky, which is nice. It feels like a lotion to me. It actually almost feels like a, pretty much like a, a, a thinner lotion. I am gonna, I applied it on this side, not even thinking, but yeah, cause I put a little bit too much. Interesting, it has a lighter scent than the toner. Oh. Or is my nose just like a skew? Let me smell some coffee. There's my toner. To me, the emulsion smells lighter. I don't know why, but it does smell lighter in my mind. Okay, so let's try applying a little bit to my face now. The only thing is, it's hard to get out. Am I doing it wrong or something? Yeah, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit here. Okay, apply to one side of my face first. Yeah, I do smell it, but it's not like really strong, which is nice. I like how it makes my skin feel right away. Like right away, it just feels like comfort on my face. It's moisturizing. It's not sticky. It definitely isn't sticky. Like I thought it'd be like a little bit sticky, but not at all. And so if I compare the difference, this side definitely feels more moisturized. So it, it does provide that instant moisturization. So this side has product. This side just has the toner. So I emulsified this side of my face already feels really good it almost feels like if you have not very dry skin or even for the summer this will be really good for the summer oh I like it it feels very soft and final item now we are going to try out the cream so here is the cream it wasn't sealed but it did have the little topper thingy on it which I don't know they are good, but they also annoy me sometimes. So let's do a texture test first. It is definitely thicker. Here. Yeah, definitely thicker. Like it has the essence of the toner, but I find that it doesn't smell as strong or I've gotten used to it, one or the other. 
but I'm not having any sort of like runny nose, sneezing or anything. So it's not so strong as causing a reaction, which is good. I have a scent sensitivity, but I do not have a scent allergy. Anything that's like super strong usually gives me um, <laughs> a bit of irritation. Okay, so this can be used AM and PM after cleansing. If you're going to use this during the day, of course, use your favorite SPF so that you also give that extra layer of protection from the sun. Okay, so this one takes a little bit more work to absorb in, but let's now try it on my face. It's not overly strong, which is really nice. Not that much work, actually. I've had thicker creams that took a lot more work to get out. Okay, what I've loved about it so far it is not irritating whatsoever. It feels really good on my skin. Everything absorbed fairly quickly, and the scent is very pleasant. It is not overly strong. I'm going to be back in a minute. I want to see how makeup lies on top of it, of course, after I use my SPF. Oh, yeah, and the other thing I really love is that my skin feels really great right now. It feels not dry, not taunt. It doesn't have that tight feeling, but it doesn't feel greasy. Like my most biggest concern will be on my forehead where I tend to get the most oil production. So we'll see in a bit how makeup lies on this. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Face is now done. Makeup went on very well. I don't see any separating. So, I mean, the, the the product seems to work well with my skin. I did use powder and I used um, the match wand stick. So it's kind of like a foundation. It's basically a foundation stick, like a cream foundation stick, plus um, a powder to just kind of set. I didn't do a full, full face. I just kind of did more of a concealer type of an idea, which is what I typically do. Uh, but yeah, so far it feels really good. My skin feels very, very, very hydrated. It feels really, really nice. The, the, the sunscreen laid on it very well. So far I am very happy with these three products. All in all, like the smell's not, the scent of it's not bothering me at all. I really like how it feels. It, it's, it does the job and is at a great price point. So would I keep, will I keep using this? Absolutely, I am, like I say, I'm going to continue using it for the two weeks to see if how much of a difference it makes on my skin, kind of get more of a feel for the product. So we're going to touch base back again in a two weeks time. So make sure you do hit the subscribe button so that you know when that video comes out. So if you want to learn any more about uh, this line of products, make sure you do go to the link in the description box below. So do stay tuned for two weeks later. I already filmed a like how my skin was after first application. So we're going to see how much in two weeks time. I love you guys so very, very much. And until the next video, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. Bye!